Hi, my name is Thomas Farley, and I have been a nightmare sufferer since October 1988. If you are suffering nightmares, I simply wish you well. I really do hope. I really do hope for the best for you. This is a new FDA-approved treatment system for reducing, possibly eliminating nightmares called Nightwear, W-A-R-E. I've had it for about 10 days, so anything I say in the next 10 minutes is subject to change. But these are my first impressions. I'm really glad that there is a new treatment out there. I wish the developers well. Uh, first things first, this is about $7,000 as it sits. You get, uh, my insurance won't pay for it. The, the majority of insurance carriers will not, and they're working on that. But right now you're out of pocket. I have always been out of pocket with my psychiatric care. I never can get seen often enough for it to do any good. So if you have just, you know, charging cables, specially provisioned, dedicated iPhone that works with a uh, specially provisioned Apple Watch. If you're not familiar, and what it does is it monitors your heart rate, your movement, and when it hits certain parameters within this algorithm they've developed, then it will tap you on the wrist to try to interrupt that violent nightmare, that event that you're experiencing. If you're not familiar with an Apple Watch, this is a, my personal Apple Watch, and it actually is electromechanical. These little dots here actually can tap you on the inside of the wrist when you have it on so that let's say you're driving and you are using Google Maps and you're getting instructions on your iPhone your iPhone will communicate to your watch so that as a left turn is coming up you'll get a tapping produced by the watch on your wrist the phone is communicating with the watch and it's a physical sensation. It can be uh, significant. So, I think the main thing is that I wasn't really that well informed at all about the device. Uh, I th the major limitation for me right now that isn't going to be fixed until the future, and I hope I'm around in the future, is that it does not start, uh, it will not start an intervention. It will not start this tapping to disrupt a nightmare within 30 minutes of going to sleep. And I wish I had known that. I would have tried it anyway, but I, I can have a nightmare within, well, as soon as my head hits the pillow. And I'm sure there's thousands or hundreds of thousands of other people. So what I, I never envisioned the idea that a medical device could be hooked up to you, essentially. You could start the medical device and it wouldn't start recording until or, or helping for 30 minutes. And it won't. So... Yeah, any reduction, you know, later on in the night. But here's a, a problem with that in that if you turn off the watch, say, in two hours, if you have a really ragged sleep cycle, uh, you're getting 30 minutes here, an hour and a half here, uh, then you got to walk around for three hours. Uh, each time you turn it off and then turn it back on, each time you turn it on, you're locked into this 30 minute of no help coming whatsoever ever period so best to keep it on i i would say the entire night and then let the uh, what they call machine learning
figure it all out. Um, I uh, the literature and what I was told on the phone kind of contradict each other, and in all cases, there's a lack of information of uh, the gritty details you want, and I. Uh, my camera instruction manuals are more detailed than this. And, and why this is important is because I want to have the device work for me as well as it can. And to do that, I, I want to understand it. I, I, I know I'm going to have to be going back and forth with my psychiatrist. I was keeping a sleep log of all of these false positives that were being triggered. And apparently the sleep log doesn't matter at all. Uh, it's learning on its own. And maybe I can get into the details of some of the emails that he sent me. But I, that lack of detail is especially telling because they don't have any customer support at night or on weekends when we're all up having our nightmares. So more information is always better and I don't know why the documentation isn't put up online and I really hope that they do. And it would save endless emails back and forth with them as well as telephone calls trying to figure out why did this happen? Why did that, that happen? Uh, for example, with that 30-minute window of no interventions possible, uh, normally that information, it, it, the event will be recorded at, on their servers, but not necessarily shown in the graphs that you see or are routinely sent to the psychiatrist. They have to be apparently singled out somehow for um, recollection. I, I'm still working through this, but again, I think that's enough for right now. Um, it Okay, so $7,000, and um, uh, of course, if it's life or death for you, I, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, and um, those first 30 minutes won't ever get you a, an intervention so uh, with that uh, I will try to make some more videos as things go along as I learn more and I really really wish the developers well